All of the references of uh, religious and mythological images are to planes of consciousness or fields of experience potential in the human spirit. And these are to evoke uh, attitudes and experiences that are appropriate to a meditation on the mystery of the source of your own being, I would say. So there have been systems of religion where the mother is the prime parent, the source, and she's really a more um, immediate parent than the father because one is born from the mother yeah. And then the first experience of any infant is the mother. So that the image of woman is the image of the world. You might say that mythology is simply a translation of the world into a mother image. We talk of Mother Earth and so forth. But what happened along the way, Joe, to this reverence that in primitive societies was directed toward the goddess figure, the great goddess, the Mother Earth. What happened to that? That comes in primarily with agriculture and the agricultural societies. Fertility and all of that? It has to do with the Earth. The, the human woman does give birth as the Earth gives birth to the, uh, the plants. She gives nourishment as the plants do. So woman magic and Earth magic are the same. They are related. And uh, the personification then of this energy which gives birth to forms and nourishes forms is properly female. And so it is in the agricultural world of ancient uh, Mesopotamia, the Egyptian Nile, but also in the earlier planting culture systems that the, uh, the goddess is the mythic form that is dominant. Because of this obvious perception of creation issue. That's right. Fertility. And when you have a goddess as the uh, creator, it's her own very body that is the universe. She is identical with the universe. And in Egypt, uh, you have the, the mother heavens, Newt, the goddess Newt, who's represented as the whole heavenly sphere. So it would be natural for people trying to explain the wonders of the universe to look to the female figure as the explanation for what they saw in their own lives. Not only that, but then when you move to a philosophical point of view, the female represents what, uh, in the Kantian terminology, we call them the forms of sensibility. The female represents time and space itself. She is time and space. And the mystery beyond her is beyond pairs of opposites. So it isn't male and it isn't female. It neither is nor isn't. But everything is within her, so that the gods are her children. Everything you can think of, everything you can see, is the uh, production of the goddess. 